So you called, and I, I gave you the address. And of course, I couldn't drive, so I had to be driven there. He in couldn't the limo. drive. Winner! You picked a winner! Yes, he comes over in a town car. So I let that limo, one go. No, I, I had a limo with a driver. Okay, well, I didn't see it, but somebody drove here. <laughs> so he came in without the breakfast. So I went, oh, well, thanks for that caviar you bragged about. He said, oh, I forgot. And so he said, um, I'm going to go send the driver for it right away. Then he forgot his wallet. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> Racking oh up the God. points, weren't yes. you? <laughs> what a guy. I snagged a good one, and I snagged him twice. <laughs> Did you borrow money from the driver? So then, finally, I said, you know what? I have to catch a plane in a little while, so I'm going to have to leave. We've, we've taken so long not getting breakfast that I'm going to go to the airport now. Bye-bye. And that's when he made a pass at me. I ran my hand under his sweater. and It was it was really getting arrogant. To know you. He just copped getting a feel right, I guess, because he thought, I forgot, I'm not going to see her ever again. <laughs> just like, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and so he just, uh, yeah, I copped the feel and I left. And then uh, we talked on the phone every day for at least a month while I was away doing the movie. And I flew into New York for our first date, and he was waiting in that limo again <laughs> with. <laughs> Chinese food smell in there because he picked up dinner for us and we went back to his place and I didn't come home for three months and that's how that happened.